Today, we're going to make a webcam. Well, yes, we're going to make a webcam. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I uploaded pictures and Katie's snapshots to Google Photos from a real webcam. I've still got it here somewhere. Um, but webcams cost money. And I have to convince um, she must be obeyed to let me buy webcams and things like that. So there's a way of doing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an old phone, connect uh, uh, the right software to it, load the software on the phone, connect it to Home Assistant, and then we can create snapshots from wherever you like. Uh, you have to use this for proper purposes, not for spying on people and not for doing what you're thinking of now. So let's roll the credits and get into it. So the first thing we need to do is install the software on the phone. We find IP webcam, we click install. It slowly runs through the install. When it's uh, installed, click open. Okay, uh, go through the connection settings. So we've got to remember it's 8080 on HTTP and RTSP. We could add a username and password. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, on F support is enabled by default. We could stream to a cloud. We can do all sorts of fancy stuff. Uh, power management. Uh, deactivate the, the screen. Um, etc etc there is a pro version but I kind of use the, the cheap one if you're using it full time it's probably best to get the pro one um, what we need to do now is tap start server click allow click allow click allow Click continue. Okay, so that's quite happily running now and you can see. So let's have a look and see what's there. So its IP address on my phone says 192.168.1.1.1. Press enter, and uh, there I am, and I've got myself at a little bit of an angle. Um, there's quite a bit of delay on it, but I'm kind of not um, interested in that. We've got the picture, we're kind of going through. So what we want to do is go into Home Assistant, um, uh, but before we do that, so you can do things, I think, yeah. You can zoom in and out. Oh, I got my double chin. Um, you can change to the back camera if you've got a back camera on it. You can make motion detection. Some of them actually require the um, pro version, but we've got the basics here. Um, I won't enable two way audio because we'll end up with a really big feedback loop. Um, but you can do kind of lots of things here. So let's go to Home Assistant and set it up from there. So in Home Assistant, we need to go add integration, type in generic camera. And uh, if you look at the phone, um, I'll do some pictures of that uh, on the screen just up there. Um, it gives you the IP address and port number. So I've got mine. I'm going to paste it in there. Uh, I always use uh, UDP. 
just me. There isn't a username and password. Remember I said I was going to leave them blank. Um, there isn't a SSL certificate. And that's all you need. So we click submit. Okay, I'm going to say everything looks good and click submit. I'm going to call it uh, side view and it's going to be in the kitchen. I'm going to click finish. Okay, uh, if I then click on this device and then click on here. Just need to check it's still running. I haven't stopped it with my faffing about. Uh, it seems to have lost connection. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to switch off the audio because otherwise I'll end up repeating myself. Um, takes a little while and as you can see, it's uh, a little bit laggy. It's not, not brilliant, um, but we've got a camera. Okay. So that camera's quite happily sitting there. We can now do um, the same things that we did in this video. So I'll quickly go and get that code and we'll take a snapshot. Right, so we go into settings, go into automations and scenes. We say create a new automation, create a new automation, then do action. Oh, camera. Take a snapshot. Choose an entity, choose my camera and store it in store it in media slash side view dot jpg save playing save uh, run actions Quick look at traces. Okay, I think it's done it. So if I go to media and I go to my media and there's a picture called side view and there it is. And it's quite a good picture because the, the camera is quite good. Okay, so you can create pictures. Um, it also proves um, if you've got a stand like kind of I have here. Um, where would be a good place to put a camera? Because you can then see and you can see what's going on. Um, in the future, I plan to cover things like frigate and uh, the other clever things that you can do. So you can detect motion and stuff like that. But this is a cheap, quick camera. If you want to have a look at your back garden and see whether there's foxes or giraffes or lions or elephants in there, you get lots of them in England. Um, you'll be able to see them. So, thanks very much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And I'll see you on the next one.